Hey guys, I'm just doing a little video on my homemade mini bike sort of thing. Basically, me and my friends, this was like a six month project and it's still not done, but it's getting there. That's what we say every time we work on it. The reason why six months is trying to use a weed whacker engine it does not help out. Plus, when your friend he has like a he he does football and a lot of stuff like that, so he's really busy all the time. But anyways, you can see it's old mongoose frame with a added on frame right there. And yeah, we uh originally it was a weed wrecker engine, but those things not good for bikes at all. Unless you're doing friction drive, but we we're trying to do a belt system. As you can see, but uh, yeah. Uh, on Craigslist, I found a $20 Briggs and Stratton. Runs first, second, third pull. I'm not gonna shut up right now. It's been leaking oil. But that's probably because of the incline, so I'm probably gonna redo that frame that holds that on. As you can see right here, this frame. Because the oil's all dripping out. I don't know if I need a new gasket or something, but I don't know, it's been dripping, but here we go. Three horsepower. Actually it's another Montgomery Ward engine. But it's a Briggs and Stratton. It came like this, everything good. Air cleaner's good. Probably needs a little tightening, but that's fine. Just here a little bit. A little rusty, but not rotted out rusty, just surface. And yeah, it starts really great, like first, second pull. But um, yeah, this is just so for people who want to make a bike cheap, they can look at this video and see the system without having to use a crappy weed racker engine. And yeah, so I'll show you the clutch system we got here. Basically, belt comes from about inch pulley, inch and a half maybe. I'll say an inch and a half. Then we got this belt, comes all the way down here to a pulley we welded onto the hub so you can move it. It's a little loose because some I don't even know, it's like a it's stuck on there somehow with a weld, but it's like aluminum sprocket and we try to stick weld it which yeah, that doesn't go well. Unless you have like aluminum uh, electrodes, but I do not because I don't know where to find them, but I've seen them before, like on the internet. Okay, I know where to find them, I just haven't bought any. But uh, yeah, so from here, go to this pivot. It's basically uh, two skateboard wheels with the bearings, with a bolt that's welded onto piece of half inch tubing going down this little little guard so it doesn't fall all the way back down to here and uh yeah and then this just keeps it aligned because we made the bolt too uh too much play so it, if it was like this it would hit the frame and it wasn't good and uh and then it pivots like so when you want to engage we're supposed to put a foot thing for the other side but when you want to engage the engine the engine we don't have a throttle hooked up yet but we'll just pull it for now but anyways when you set it at like a whatever throttle because the throttle you just pull then you depress this as you can see it's a little squeaky it tensions the belt letting it move the wheel. We have got it running, kind of, but here's our problem. See where that engine is? I didn't really think about it. I Like, I put a... I didn't know which way it was going to move it, really, at first, but now we realize it makes it go backwards, so I was going about 5 miles per hour backwards, and I was like, holy crap, what's happening? So that's our problem, but... Yeah, we're going to... Let me just back up a little more. But that's we're gonna just switch this whole thing around by cutting the bolt. We have this giant bolt welded on for some reason. I don't know why. It was a good idea at the time, but 
yeah. Then, but basically, we got this threaded rod. Just press it, and it does real good. Like, see how it arches that, and maybe if I could hold this down with my foot, you can see like that's just slightly holding it down, so you know it's gonna be, get a good friction. But uh, yeah. So thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just leave them below, and I will answer them really soon. I visit my YouTube like every day, multiple times a day because, well, that was summer. I go to school tomorrow, so that's crappy. But you know, got vocational welding, so that's a plus. Then I got gym, that's not. But uh, don't need to know about my schedule, but uh. Yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe, favorite, whatever you want to do. I don't care what you do, except I care if you subscribe or favorite or like any of those. I like that, but if you don't do it, that's fine. I'm fine with me. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, thanks.